Robert Oppenheimer I need physics more than friends. He was a theoretical physicist who was chosen by General Leslie Groves, the director of Manhattan Project, as the head scientist of Manhattan Project. They decided to build a new huge secret laboratory in Los Alamos. Oppenheimer assembled a group of top American and international physicists to work on the top secret project. He and his team conducted the first successful nuclear test in Los Alamos in July 1945 called the Trinity Test. The test was an implosion design plutonium device named the Gadget. It released the explosive energy of about 25 kiloton TNT. After World War II and use of nuclear weapons on Japan, Oppenheimer and many other scientists advocated for discouraging the development and spread of nuclear weapons under surveillance of an international committee and encouraging this peaceful use of nuclear technology. Edward Teller Secrecy in science does not work. Withholding information does more damage to us than to our competitors. The Hungarian-American theoretical physicist was the father of thermonuclear weapon, co-developer of the Teller Ulam design. He worked on the theoretical description of beta decay transition with spin 1, an advocate of geoengineering and went even so far that he proposed using nuclear weapons for civil engineering projects, which caused some controversy among scientists. After World War II, he worked on the development of the more powerful thermonuclear weapon on which he clashed with some scientists, among them Oppenheimer. The animosity between them went so far that after the war, during Oppenheimer's security hearing, he testified against granting Oppenheimer a security clearance. Enrico Fermi The Italian navigator has landed in the new world. Fermi's research team won the race for demonstrating the first artificial nuclear chain reaction by successfully building the first artificial nuclear reactor in history, Chicago Pile 1. Few physicists have excelled like him in both experimental and theoretical physics. His initial achievements, like the development of Fermi drug statistics, were indeed mostly in theoretical physics. For the discovery of artificial radioactivity, he received the Physics Nobel Prize in 1938. Fermi made many contributions which made him famous even beyond the science community. Fermi Paradox elaborates the discrepancy between the high likelihood of intelligent extraterrestrial life forms and the lack of evidence for them. Fermi Problem is a method developed by him to make reasonable estimations despite lacking precise data. So he estimated the yield of Trinity test just by dropping some small scraps of paper before the blast wave passed. Albert Einstein The most important thing is not to stop questioning. He does not need any introductory since he is the most famous scientist of all time and one of the most famous and influential persons in history. Besides the theory of relativity, which among his scientific achievements contributed the most to his fame, he made many contributions to various fields of physics, such as laser physics, statistical physics, and quantum mechanics. He actually received the Physics Nobel Prize in 1921, mostly because of his theoretical explanation of the photoelectric effect. Despite not directly being involved in the Manhattan Project, Einstein's fame, his letter, and his meetings with Roosevelt have eventually led the United States of America to enter the nuclear race with Germany by initiating the Manhattan Project. Previous warnings of other scientists about the German nuclear program have mostly been ignored by the US government. Werner Heisenberg General Leslie Groves He was worth more to us than 10 divisions of Germans. Had he fallen into the Russian hands, he would have proven invaluable to them. He was one of the most famous physicists of 20th century. He was one of the key figures in development of quantum mechanics 
and the development of the German nuclear program. He is mostly famous for the development of matrix mechanics and the discovery of Heisenberg uncertainty principle, the nightmare of Laplace and classic mechanics, which marked the end of hope for determinism. For a letter, he received the Physics Nobel Prize in 1932. Nuclear fission was discovered in 1938 in Germany by Otto Hahn. At the beginning of World War II, Germany was ahead of any other country in nuclear physics. Heisenberg refused an invitation in 1939 to emigrate to the United States and decided to remain in Germany and work on the German nuclear program, known as Uranverein. Despite what the name implies, it was not a central organization. As the most prominent scientist in Uranverein, if anyone, then Heisenberg can be considered as a counterpart to Oppenheimer in Germany. Although he built the most advanced nuclear reactor prototype outside the United States in Heigerloch, criticality has never been achieved in Germany till the end of the war. The German nuclear program lacked both the central and professional organization and most importantly, the almost limitless funding of Manhattan Project. Niels Bohr Those who are not shocked when they first come across quantum theory cannot possibly have understood it. A Danish theoretical physicist, who is mostly famous for his pioneer work on quantum theory and the development of Bohr model of the atom, for which he received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922. It was the first model for atomic structure which could explain the hydrogen's spectral emission lines by postulating quantized energy levels for the electron in the central electric field of proton. In honor of his scientific works and achievements, the element 107 is named Borium. After German occupation of Denmark, Heisenberg met his former colleague and mentor, Bohr in Copenhagen. The content of their important talk is still a subject of discussion among historians. In 1943, Bohr left Nazi-occupied Denmark and joined the British nuclear program Tube Alloys. He visited later Los Alamos as a member of the British mission. Ernst Lawrence it never does much good to find out why you can't. Put your effort into what you can do. Nuclear physicist who is mostly famous for invention of the cyclotron, the famous particle accelerator in the shape of two mirror Ds, an ingenious design which set the benchmark for many future developments. For this invention, he won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1939. His second most important invention, which is probably more important for this movie was Calutron. It was developed for isotope separation, most specifically in case of uranium, a process which is called enrichment. It can be used for both civil and military purposes. After World War II, he campaigned for government sponsorship of big science projects. Two Department of Energy National Laboratories, LLNL and LBNL, and element 103, Laurentium, are named in his honor. Hans Bette. You should look at all the experimental information at hand, not only the most relevant. A theoretical physicist who made many contributions to various branches of physics, such as quantum electrodynamics, nuclear physics, solid state physics, and astrophysics. He eventually won the 1967 Physics Nobel Prize for his contributions to the theory of nuclear reactions and energy production in stars, most notably CNO cycle. CNO cycle is the main nuclear reaction in stars heavier than sun or later during the transition of sun into a red giant when it becomes hotter. In nuclear physics, he co-developed the famous semi-empirical mass formula for approximating the binding energy of nucleus and subsequently the energy release in nuclear fission. Oppenheimer appointed him director of T division, the theoretical division in Los Alamos. He calculated the critical mass for uranium-235 and worked on the implosion of plutonium. P. 
Klaus Fuchs. Hans Bette. Klaus Fuchs is the only physicist I know who really changed history. Indeed, this theoretical physicist might be considered to be among the top 10 of 20th century. Not physicists, but spies. He joined the student branch of SPD, Social Democratic Party of Germany, but he was expelled from SPD and joined KPD, Communist Party of Germany, after supporting Tellmann instead of Hindenburg during the presidential election in German Reich. As a dedicated communist, he fled from Germany after Hitler became chancellor in 1933 and found refuge in United Kingdom. He joined the Manhattan Project as a member of United Kingdom delegation and continuously passed information about Manhattan Project to Soviet Union not only during the Second World War but even after that. He helped Soviet Union a lot on catching up with the United States on nuclear technology. Klaus Fuchs has undoubtedly contributed more to the nuclear balance between USA and USSR than Anakin Skywalker to the balance of the force in the Star Wars universe.